guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a short review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Catwalk Palette. It was requested by one of my subscribers um, that goes by Estevez. So here is the, the palette, which is a beautiful packaging that it comes with. I am really, really, really in love with this packaging. It's so, so cute. Uh, here is the front. Here is the back. Obviously, the name of the palette and the eyeshadows. Okay, so let's get started really quickly. This is the palette, very small, perfect uh, to throw in your purse. It comes with this um, booklet and it gives you some tips on how to use some of their eyeshadows, so that's really nice. Uh, let's see, when you open it up, here it is, it has a mirror. And here are the eyeshadow colors. Very, very pretty colors. I really love it. As you guys can tell, I've been using it. It also comes with this um, eyeshadow brush, uh, double-sided. So that's pretty neat. I really like that. The only thing is that the eyeshadows, the name of the eyeshadows are not on the box. Or on the palette, I should say. They're actually behind the box and... I really don't like that so that's something that kind of bummed me out when I opened it up because I was like wait what are the names so yeah the names are right behind the the box and that kind of sucks but you know whatever it is what it is okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the top row and this one is called callback this one is called Stroop. this one is called scout this one is called beauty mark and this one is LBD the second row, this one is going to be called Day Rate. This one is going to be called Couture, I believe. And this one is RTW, 10K, and Post. So I'm going to try to see if I can swatch it for you guys fairly quickly. Uh, the first one I'm going to try is the Call, the Callback. So that's Callback, and there's Callback. Very, very pretty. Champagne color. The next color is going to be Strout. And there it is, very pretty plummy color. The next one is going to be Scout. And that is a very pretty shimmery, uh, pinky peach color. Okay, the next one is going to be Beauty Mark. And it's just a matte brown color. Uh, the next one is going to be LBD. And it's just your typical matte black color. That's, a, that's another thing I love about this palette. It has a couple of shimmers and a couple of matte colors. So it's a very awesome mixture of those colors or those finishes I should say okay the next one is the bottom row and I'm gonna start off with day rate and this is just a light pink matte color and then the next one is couture and it's just a deep bronzy color the next one is RTW and it is a uh, like a like a peach eyeshadow I love that one for a transition color or a crease color the next one is my favorite of all the ones on the palette, and it is called 10K. Very beautiful color. Um, the next one is going to be uh, Pose, and this one reminds me of Max uh, Satin Taupe. So that's that's a beautiful uh, color. Satin Taupe is one of my favorites, so this one is also beautiful. Okay, so pretty much these are the eyeshadows. Very beautiful. Oh, there goes the eyeshadow brush. Okay, so I really, really do recommend this palette just because for the price, it's $29. It's, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think it's that expensive for 10 shadows, and they're very pigmented. I really love it. I mean, I fell in love with it. At first, I was like, eh. I mean, it's just like any typical palette, but when I started swatching them and playing with it, I just fell in love with it. So I purchased it. It was $29. I got mine at Ulta. I know Sephora might have it. And I think AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com has it. So I really love the, the palette. It's, it's beautiful pigmented colors. The colors are very easy to work with and easy to blend. So other than that, I mean, I, I love the palette. And like I said, it's, it's well worth it. So if you're interested, and like I said, you can purchase it at any of those um, stores or the Anastasia site online. I'll go ahead and put them down below um, so you guys can check it out. So anyways, that's it, guys. Um, that was the whole review. Like I said, short review. And thank you for my subscriber for requesting this.